I've been working on a project that needs some custom gears. I began with the usual Google search. Unfortunately, I don't have a bandsaw or a scroll saw, and I don't trust myself to do any kind of precision work with a jigsaw. Eventually, I got the idea of using a router table. It looked something like this. Basically, a gear blank is secured to what I call a trapezoid guide, and with the clever placement of a couple fences, it makes a very useful gear cutting setup. I'm very happy with the end results, so keep watching to see how I make this jig. Before getting in the shop, I use AutoCAD to create a template that evenly divides a circle according to the number of gear teeth. There's a tutorial for this on my website. If you don't have AutoCAD available, this step can be done with a good old protractor. That's how I lay out the small gear, because there isn't any space to secure a template. Depending on the tooth count, the trapezoid guide has to be shaped accordingly. To determine the angles, take 360 degrees, divide by the number of teeth, I'm making a 60 tooth gear, and divide by 2, because we cut on both sides of the trapezoid. So 3 degrees is the angle the miter saw needs to be set at. A piece of 3 8 inch plywood is cut to this angle on both sides. This trapezoid now shares the same geometry as a single tooth of a 60 tooth gear. I cut out a rough circle with a jigsaw, just a hair over the final outside diameter of the gear. So there's the trapezoid guide, what will soon become a gear, the template, this pointer, and a clamp. Now this can be secured with double-sided tape. I secure the clamp with machine screws. They're stronger than regular wood screws. I'll thread the wood with a tap. A self-centering punch makes it easy to locate the holes. This hole is used to guide placement of the fences. If it's not clear now, it will be in a minute. For now, it needs to be drilled out to match the diameter of the router bit. In my case, that's a quarter inch. I'll also cut out the excess from this paper template. Before starting to cut the gear teeth, it's a good idea to give the gear a quick spin here at the router table to clear out any imperfections left behind from the jigsaw. To set up for cutting gear teeth, align the pointer exactly opposite the quarter inch hole. Clamp in place, slip this right over the bit, and just butt up some fences to the trapezoid and secure them in place. When cutting, follow the right side fence on the push stroke and follow the left side fence on the pull stroke. Repeat for each mark. After a few minutes, I have a perfectly shaped gear. And that's it! As always, thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see what I make with these gears next month. You won't be disappointed. Hope to see you soon.